Hello, I'm Chris. This is going to be another art vlog where I just talk about what I've been up to recently, show a few paintings, talk about what I'm uh, working for, through, what I'm working on as an artist, a visual artist, and just basically an update really. So I've got a show coming up in. Oh, I think it's May now, um, with the tunnel, it's a group exhibition, we'll post more details close to the time. I've, I've been doing a lot of drawings, uh, and it's quite a lot of ink studies, I guess, and I'll just show a few of those now, and talk about each one. So this is uh, where I paint now, I've uh, bought myself an easel. But I've not really put it together properly, but there we go. And this is the last painting I did recently, so it's a bit like a landscape really. I've used um, Indian ink, acrylic Indian ink, it's a bit white and black. It's just these two, Winsor and Newton I think. Yep, Winsor and Newton. Uh, and I just pasted on a bunch of black paint over an old painting and uh, I think this has got something, I don't know exactly what, but a bit of scratchy in. A bit of going more into like neutral tones. I enjoyed the process of painting this one. I It came directly from my imagination, it's not from a... Um, I wasn't working from any reference, it just came from my unconscious, unconscious really. I guess I'm exploring similar terrain to Mate, who's a painter I'm a big fan of. And yeah, there's a bit of spray paint on there as well from the previous painting I was doing, which I sort of worked into a bit. And I also have this work, <coughs> which is, at the minute the working title of this is Ghost of the Machine Age. Honestly. So let's go to the machine age. So I think part of the subject matter that's coming to do with dealing with the question of like automation and AI. <coughs> Pardon me. And yeah, that's it's like a ghostly feeling to that, I suppose. It's like if you look on the left, there's a sort of ghostly figure. Again, that was done with a mixture of inks, including this. This is just like pen ink, basically. So I mixed in some of that as well. Parker pen ink. So yeah, been a bit experimental with some of the ink. Because it's like, it's, it's quite an interesting medium to work with, ink. Uh, and a lot of my drawings have been using ink as well, which I'll show you next. And it's a medium I'm enjoying exploring more. It's very fluid, you haven't got much time, you've got to respond. Everything dries quite fast with ink, so that's it's quite a good medium to work with for that reason, I think. So, the well, these are paintings from a while ago. The last acrylic paints I did before I moved to Manchester, which is where I live now. But I've been doing these ink sketches, series of ink sketches. It's a self portrait there, obviously. Some things from imagination, some from life, still lifes. Some from more from imagination. That one in the middle is from imagination. One of the rights, these ones on the right, from observation. These are reference, this, that one there in the middle is from a reference. Uh, got these splattery ones here, which are just more like experimenting with the medium. Uh, yeah. A few random drawings here I've been doing. It's just a sketch from imagination, not of anybody in particular. But yeah, that's a self-portrait from fairly recently, uh, but I messed it up a bit, I'm not that happy with it. 
I think I really need to get back into doing acrylic painting again properly. I'm going to probably buy some acrylic paint now. Uh, but I moved into my new place, so I'm still getting acquainted with that. Obviously, I have to be, I have to be fair, I should place a rent, so I can't like just, you know, I have to be quite careful I don't get too much paint on the floor. But I think it's okay, really. I've just got like bin liners down and stuff to help with that. Um, yeah, really want to get back into painting, miss painting a bit, really. Um, I've been working for the last six months, um, so I've been not had as much time, but just having the time to. I've been off work for the last few days, basically, so it's given me a bit of an opportunity just to get back to the old paintbrushes, which has been good. Um, yeah, that's just it, really. That's the update vlog for. Uh, ah, I'll, I'll actually show some other work as well. This is from a while ago, but. A while ago, but that's. I'd like to do these figurative paintings again. Let's see a portrait of your setting. The painting on the right is a portrait from the artist Matt Tudor. I bought that not that long ago, but you can find him online as well. And I put it this nice little bit of a mix between those works, like this were nice complementary colours. Uh, the blue and the red, I guess. Sort of like they relate, so I'll just put them up there. In fact, I'll give you a little tour of my studio and just talk about the different works I've got up. All of this works available to buy if you want to buy any of it by the way. For example the Ascending Portrait is probably what do you have that for 150 if you want it? It's about I think 20 by 20 inch or something. Just give you an idea of scale or sofa. So yeah. I think it's 16 by 16 probably more. So this is a painting I did all about five months ago now. Maybe even eight. Did this while I was at my parents, it's in the garage. Uh, it's quite. Just got this above my dishwasher at the minute. Um, I won't show you any of that because it's all very messy. I need to do the dishes. <laughs> but there's that one. You can, uh, if you're interested in buying that, actually, you can. I'd say two hundred, but I'd go under that if you have got less money. Like it's pretty about. I'd say yeah, two hundred quid for that one. My uh, bathroom. It's a painting I did ages ago, actually 2016, called Zero. Uh, so i just put this in my bathroom. It's actually quite a good work, I still like this painting quite a bit. It's got like something to it. Um, it's got some nice textured paint on there. Uh, if you're interested in that, it's 150 probably again. It's uh, just in my bathroom at present. This is a fairly recent one from 2023, so yeah, last year. I've probably shown this one before. It's another one from the time of my parents. Give you a bit of the old, uh, see some of the movement in that. Um, bit of the black in there as well. Black on top of the color. Bit of, uh, dynamic surface I suppose this is another old one this is just my room where I sleep there's some uh, these are all, all old stuff as well my sugar machine Naima portrait of some of the paintings I should have a bunch more I've had a bunch of other paintings coming soon uh, basically a load of them are on my parents boat which they're selling soon so I'm gonna, my mum's actually doing an epic journey to pick up some of my old paintings. So I'll be getting those and I'll have to store them here somewhere at some point. Anyway, that's the art vlog. And I'm, I'll say personally at the minute, I'm just thinking of a little bit of a personal update on how I'm feeling. Um, I'm honestly a bit depressed at the minute. Uh, a bit um, under the weather. Trying to get back out, get out of that, and get into like a more less depressed state, but it's uh, just taking it day by day at the minute, really, to be honest. Yeah, in a bit. Like and subscribe. I'm an artist, a painter, and uh, this channel's mostly just for stuff I find interesting, really. Personal channel, really, Chris Gilbert. In a bit.